Hi folks, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a Kiefer all aluminum car hauler. It's a 7x18, 7,000 pound, also comes in a 16 and 20 foot length. I'm going to take you for a walk around this trailer and show you why we think it's worthy of your consideration if you're looking for an aluminum car trailer. So a couple things that we really like about this one, up front it uses a Bulldog jack. Bulldog's uh, for a long time been a sign of quality for both jacks and couplers. Uh, they also use a Demco Easy Latch Coupler. For those not familiar, it's very simple. It's an auto latch. As you lower the jack down, it'll automatically latch. And then to open it up, very simple deployment. Also notice it still has the uh, built-in uh, safety pin. Uh, a couple of the little details. They use a very heavy-duty set of chains. For being a 7K car hauler, it's actually got chains that would look like they belong on a 14,000 pound equipment. Also notice they take the time up front to uh, cap the end of the frame here. So that's all capped so you don't get corrosion and whatnot back the tongue. Also notice because of how low pro of a trailer it is, they go ahead and do a raised coupler. That's all made out of box tube. And then the, the main frame on this is a integrated frame. So it goes uh, the whole way back. It's a tongue mainframe unibody setup. Also notice it's a, what I would refer to as a pan trailer. So instead of like a normal car hauler where you've got a channel frame and the, the wood would sit at the top, this is a nestled frame. So the, the uh, extruded aluminum sits down from the, the pan main frame. So one thing that's different, a lot of people assume because they buy an aluminum trailer, it's all aluminum. And folks, I'm sorry to disappoint, but that's not the case a fair amount of the time. There's a name brand that's been bought out by an investment group and a uh, very, very large company. And I'm here to tell you, if you look underneath the trailer to mainframe, it's a three by five angle that's steel painted. Uh, this here is a true all aluminum frame trailer. That tongue mainframe that comes back, it's uh, a quarter inch wall aluminum, very heavy duty. Uh, so it is a true aluminum frame trailer. Then, like I said, you've got the extruded uh, pan frame. Now, this one's got a removable fender. I went ahead and got the removable fender started. You'll notice it's up on this side. Uh, these guys do a nice uh, removable fender. They put a, a wing nut style design. Uh, very simple to take off. Simply uh, do that at either end. And then you can lift the fender off uh, generally with, well, even with one hand. Okay, so very, very simple deployment of the fender. Radial tires, aluminum wheels are both standard. Uh, as you can see, there is no spring suspension in the middle, so this would make it a torsion. This one's got torsion drop axles, which is part of the reason that it sits low. Now folks, uh, some aluminum car haulers do go with a beaver tail. This one goes with a straight deck design. Now to do a straight deck design, it means you need to make do without a beaver tail. And to not have a beaver tail, you need to have a very low slung design. Hence the unibody frame with the torsion drop axles. Now the only real downside to having torsion drops in a pan frame would be with drop axles, you don't see it on most car haulers uh, because it gives you a taller fender. Now that said, these have removable fenders which offsets the fender height. So as you see here, the only downside to this particular unit would be if you got a fairly low car, and you probably are if you're looking at buying this trailer, you have to take the fender off. Deployment of the fender is pretty straightforward and simple, but that is the downside of having a low profile trailer such as this. Now again, they do a unibody frame, torsion drops, they also do the pan frame, and then they lengthen the ramps on these to six foot. So industry standard would be five, but part of the low profile would be six foot ramp. Now there's some benefits to doing a straight deck like this. One of them would certainly be you don't have a beaver tail, which would be a cut and a splice. Uh, that would temper the aluminum and make it weaker in that area. So the thought here is go with the straight frame, do the drop axles, the pan frame, and lengthen the ramp, and you can avoid the cut and splice and have a nice, very low load angle approach. Uh, the ramps are side mount, of course, due to the length. And they use the rotational 6,000 pound swivel rings. For those not familiar, swivel around, make it very handy. They're also a higher weight rating. Of course, all sealed beam LED lights, bullet marker lights. They say on the title of these, they weigh 1,000 pounds. Folks, I have not weighed one of these, but I'm guessing they're a hair more than that. I'm gonna say maybe 11, 1150, but they are a very lightweight, all aluminum car hauler. 
This is first quarter of 2018. Just to give you an idea, we're in Pennsylvania. Certainly prices will vary across the country with these guys, but we're around $5,000 on one of these units. Again, it is a 7,000 pound GVW with the empty weight. Uh, you've got a net legal payload in the fives on a unit like this. That does not count your tongue weight that you'll pick up as well. Again, it does come in other sizes. And we can add options such as a toolbox, additional D-rings, spare tire, etc. Also does come with the swivel jack up front. You can take that off while you're in transport. Removable fenders on both sides are a standard feature. Folks, if you have any questions on this, give us a ring. We'd be happy to help you. 717-220-4220. Visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.